At around 1300 hours on 4th of May 2023, train 1 Alpha 6-4 a Sunderland to London King's Cross Grand Central service passed over three sets of points at Spittle Junction near Peterborough at excessive speed. This resulted in sudden sideways movements of the coaches, which led to some passengers being thrown from their seats. The maximum permitted speed over the junction is initially 30 miles per hour, reducing to 25 miles per hour. The data recorder from the train indicated that the points had been traversed at a speed of 66 miles per hour. Train 1 Alpha 64 approached Spittle Junction on the Upfast line, following Train 1 Echo 82. Both trains were not timetabled to stop at Peterborough Station. At 12.56 hours, the signallers made a request to set the route for Train 1 Alpha 64 to the Upslow line via Platform 1. This train approached Spittle Junction with restrictive signal aspects. The route beyond Papa 468 Junction signal to the Upslow line could not be set for Train 1 Alpha 64 as Train 1 Echo 82 was still occupying the Upfast line. At around 12.57 hours, Train 1 Echo 82 cleared the section. This was the earliest time the signallers could have set the route beyond Papa 468 signal for Train 1 Alpha 64. 14 seconds later, Train 1 Alpha 64 reached the inhibition point for flashing aspects, meaning that signalling control for PAPA 468 signal reverted to approach released from red. A further 16 seconds later, the signallers again requested the route from PAPA 468 signal to divert 1 Alpha 64 to the upslow line via Platform 1. Nearly two minutes later, and while coasting at 16 miles per hour, Train 1 Alpha 64 reached the track circuit which started a 10 second release timer for PAPA 468 signal. The aspect control on this signal meant that it remained at red until this timer had expired. Nine seconds later, the junction indicator for the upslow line to platform one illuminated, followed within a second by the main aspect of PAPA 468 signal changing from red to green. Train 1 Alpha 64 was, at this time, approximately 800 metres from the signal and still coasting. 11 seconds after the signal cleared, and with the train approximately 750 metres from the signal, the driver responded to the green main aspect by applying power, and then full power shortly afterwards. At 1300 hours and 14 seconds, train 1 Alpha 64 reached PAPA 468 signal, travelling at 50 miles per hour, still accelerating under full power. PAPA 468 signal had at this point been displaying its green aspect and junction indicator lights to the driver for 63 seconds. Around 30 seconds later, train 1 Alpha 64 reached the junction, still accelerating and travelling at 66 miles per hour. Responding immediately to the train lurching at the first set of points, the driver applied full emergency braking. The train entered platform 1 travelling at 56 miles per hour still under emergency braking. Train 1 Alpha 64 came to a stop at 1300 hours and 49 seconds within the limits of Platform 1. A similar incident occurred at the same location 13 months before this incident. The industry is still working on addressing the recommendations made by RIRB at the time, so none of the recommendations applicable to the more recent incident have been remade. As a result of this new incident, RIRB has also recommended that Grand Central reviews and amends its training and competence management process for drivers. RSSB reviews the standards specifying the relative brightness of main aspects and junction indicators on signals to minimise the risk of drivers not reading them correctly. Network rail and train operators review how they derive, share and implement safety learning from accidents and incidents that involve shared risks.